So a few months ago I did a video where I show you guys how to strafe and shoot and there's this new technology called SOCD. This is what game movement looks like on Razer's new keyboard. It achieves perfect strafing inputs. No movement overlap, no delay between direction changes. This movement accuracy is 100% impossible on a normal keyboard. Uh, Razer released something called the snap tap, if I'm not mistaken, and it's absolutely insane. Uh, when I first heard about it, I was like, I need to try it. I bought a Razer keyboard and guess what? Wooden just updated their keyboards and since I have a Wooden, I decided to try it. Be completely honest with y'all, I think this is a very, very dangerous technology uh, for tournaments because it does give you a very unfair advantage. And I'm going to teach you how it works right now. When you, a lot of people say that you cannot uh, strafe in the in Valorant and it's pretty much useless. And I've always been the type of player that strafe back and forth. And look at this, I'm using the keyboard, all my shots are going exactly where I'm aiming. And I'm not stopping for a single second. This is automatically release your previous strafe key once you go to counter strafe. So if you're running to the right and never let go of D, then tap A, you will instantly start to counter strafe. The keyboard isn't doing the action for you, but it is removing a user's input based on assumed input. Intent. Uh, a lot of you guys are watching the video where he talks about uh, Primi and the way he moves, the way he strafes. Imagine you're a top 1% in basically every metric in Valorant. What would that look like? Clicky aim, One enemy remaining. insane game sense, but crouching every single gunfight. He uses a wooden keyboard and pretty much what the wooden keyboard does is that as soon as you release the control key, is, is like instant it releases super quick so you can kind of move look i'm moving right but if i bind the control key to let's say my mouse mouse right not doing anything and this is me on the keyboard like it's instant and the strafe only per se is pretty much strong because no matter the situation you always want to be moving when shooting at their targets right in CSGO, look at this, like, the react is, like, the reaction is so quick, and I'm not even, like, I'm a prime, I'm not even training much nowadays, I'm just, like, playing for fun, but this new feature one, wants me to grind, like, makes me want to grind this game, like, how, look at this guy, like, it's instant, like, I press the opposite key, like, as soon as I release the opposite key, it's already in, like, done, like, I can already shoot, I'm thinking that gaming is evolving so much, that I feel like at the end of the day, whoever has the best peripherals, the best RAM uh, in your PC, is gonna end up having the best kills and, and like it's gonna be easier to play. It's like playing the game in easy mode, you know? Like, look at this, it's, it's, it's disgusting. And I'm not even crouching or anything, like, I'm just using AD to show you guys the technology. If you have the wooden keyboard, give me your impressions because. I don't know if I'm tripping, I don't know if this is placebo effect, but I do see a crazy difference on strafing with a Vandal. Like before the keyboard and after the keyboard is like completely different, before this technology is crazy. Now what I'm going to do is to go to the range and show you guys without the technology and with the technology. Here on the website in the wooden settings, uh, what I'm going to do now is literally just delete the setting over here which is the socd socd pretty much monitors two selected keys and activates them based on your chosen settings so pretty much i'm gonna delete this bang i'm gonna save and now i'm gonna go to the back to the game and show you guys the crazy difference so we're back in the range i'm gonna go and show you guys the difference between you can see this clearly on the vandal the phantom is kind of like easy to control a little bit but with the vandal you can see the clear difference okay so i'm just gonna strafe like i normally do and show you guys the difference Wait, look. look at this like the bullets are going everywhere right even if i try to just do two at a time Like, you still go everywhere, right? Now, one at a time is different. With the Vandal, you can kind of do one at a time, but sometimes it goes up like this. Now, I'm going to go back to the software and turn it on. I'm going to assign to A and D. Main. Everything is last pr input priority correct. Done. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did when I had it turned it off. But prepare your mind to be absolutely mind blown.
dude, look at this. Like, he's crazy. Like, the difference is so insane. And if you have the keyboard, please do the test. I'm not bullshitting you guys. It's absolutely insane. And with the Phantom, it's pretty much impossible to miss. It feels like cheating. I'm not even joking. I know I've used this title for a monitor before and to 40 the 540 hertz monitor. But now I'm legit telling you guys, if you have a wooden keyboard, activate the settings. It does feel like cheating. Now I want to ask you guys, is this fair? Is this fair to use in competitive gameplay? If I'm being honest with you guys, I do not think it is. That's my opinion on it. I want you guys you I want to know you guys' opinion. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you all in the next one. Peace out.